says, during ghusl, first, we pour water on the head after wudu three times. Is it necessary to pour wa water again on the head when we pour water on the whole body thrice after that? Now, when it comes to ghusl, a lot of the brothers and sisters have confusion. Ghusl has two ways of performing it. The sunnah way and the way that is accepted, which is not in accordance to the sunnah. So the way that is accepted, which is not in accordance to the sunnah, but it's accepted, it's valid, is when you wash your entire body, you turn the water in your mouth and you rinse your nose, that's it. So if I dip myself in the ocean or in the sea or in a big swimming pool with the intention of uplifting this major ritual impurity that I have, and I turn water in my mouth and I rinse my nose, sniff the water and blow my nose, then my ghusl is valid and I am in the state of wudu. I don't have to perform wudu. But the sunnah way which the Prophet ﷺ had done himself and the mothers of the believers told us about is first of all that you come and you wash your hands three times because at the time they did not have faucets they had a bucket of water so they had to put their hands in the bucket of water and then start to wash themselves so in order to ensure that your hands are clean and no dirt on them you first wash your hands before entering your hands into that bucket of water. And then the Prophet used to wash his private parts and then wash his hands again. And in some narrations, he used to dust his hands because they did not have soap at, uh, at that time. So dusting your hand on the ground cleanses it. Then you or the Prophet used to perform wudu. So you perform the normal wudu either with washing the feet at the end or postponing that to the very end. Then he would put three scoops of water over his head and ensure that the water reaches his scalp. And then he would wash his body. Now, do I have to wash my head again? The answer is no. The three times that you've washed your scalp or your head at the beginning, this, is, this suffices. And then at the end, you wash your feet, and by this, your ghusl is complete and according to the sunnah.